When the game is done, I wish that millions of people will play it. Now, if there's one thing you can be sure of, it's that nothing is more powerful than a young boy's wish. Except an Apache helicopter. An Apache helicopter has machine guns and missiles. It is an unbelievably impressive complement of weaponry. An absolute death machine. Hello humans and other life forms that might watch this video. I'm currently working on my Ragdoll Spider-Man game. The endless mode is already done, but the game gets a story mode as well, where Spidey has to rescue Mary from the Green Goblin. I started this week by building the first level. I want to make Spider-Doll a nice game for speedrunning, so levels shall allow people to swing with a super high velocity. To make this easier, I improved the camera. Now it will zoom out when you are fast. This way you can better see what's coming in front of you and react accordingly. It's also a great addition for the endless mode, where the camera now also zooms out when you manage to have a great air time. Thus makes it much easier to keep the multiplier up. But when I tested the first level for speedruns, something really annoyed me. The fastest way to solve the level is by always double web shoot behind you. Also, using two webs at the same time feels somewhat OP. Spider Doll should be more about cool swinging and not so much about just flying through the air. So I nerfed the shooting acceleration and the double web. Now you have to swing and I think this is really good for the game. In the endless mode, getting shot only throws you back, but that's it. I feel like this would be super lame for the story mode. So Spidey got a health bar. And now getting shot actually hurts. You better be careful when you meet the enemies. When you can lose health, you also need a way to gain it back. I could have gone for health pickups like basically every game, but that doesn't feel right. I think this hospital is a way cooler solution. You will slowly regain health when standing on the roof. So yeah, level 2 will be a simple level with just a few enemies. Time for the interesting stuff. The flying death machine aka Apache helicopter. When I thought on how to make a helicopter that fits into the game, I was a little bit afraid. I had no idea how to animate and move it correctly. But the animation turned out to be very easy. I just had to take these 2D rotors, rotate them on the X axis so they look 3D and when I rotate them now on the Z axis it looks pretty nice. I just need to quickly put the rotation in Unity's animation system and the helicopter is alive. Now to the tricky part the movement. I started with some simple backwards movement that gets faster the closer the player is. And it turned out that Spidey wants to make some love with the copter. Huh. So this wasn't the solution. The heli doesn't adjust fast enough to the player. In the next iteration I linked the movement of the helicopter to Spidey, which is not that bad. Or maybe it is. And please don't ask me what I've done here. But after some more hacking, I eventually found nice variables for the movement. I did the same for the y-axis and now the helicopter always tries to stay in front and on top of you. And yeah, I also disabled its collision with the buildings, since making it avoid every object would have taken too much time. Now that the movement is done, the copter also needs a way to fight. I started by adding a machine gun, which shoots 10 bullets in a quick succession. As a secondary weapon, it gets a guided missile aiming for the player. When it hits you, it explodes. To avoid those missiles, you can either shoot them or just try to make them crash in the next hospital like a real superhero. Now the helicopter just have to randomly decide which of his two attacks he's using and we have a great fight. And that's all I was able to achieve this week. How do you like the helicopter battle? Tell me in the comments so that the YouTube algorithm thinks that I actually make good video. <laughs> I hope I see you next week. Bye.